Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. And, you know, we kind of jones for film stuff after Sundance leaves town, and you never quite get anything that's uh, substantive enough to make us really excited uh, about film until Sundance rolls around again. Well, I'm breaking the rules today, that's for sure, because I'm pretty excited to talk about the movie Freetown. And from the film, I've got the director, producer, uh, Garrett Batty, and with him, Henry Adolfo, the actor from the film. Welcome, both of you, to the show. Thank Thrilled you to so have you much. here. <clears throat> Thanks, Joe. It's so fun to be back here. Indeed, yeah. We've you and I have uh, we've had uh, several opportunities to talk film uh, when you were here uh, before with the Saratov approach. Yeah. Which, yeah. boy, did that film ever really just take off? It, yeah, it did. It was it was neat to see. I mean, we had no idea that yeah. people would respond the way they did. To I, it. I remember that you were kind of like, oh, it's, we hope we get a little bit bigger release. Maybe it gets. Holy Toledo! Everybody in the country had a chance to see that film if they wanted to. Yeah, it played. And a lot of them did. Yeah, a lot of them did. It played all over the country, and uh, it opened the door, I think, for for our next project. Indeed, yeah. you know, it, it's a uh, it's a difficult uh, area of film. At least it has been up until recently. When we're talking about films of faith and things like that. And uh, this, uh, this film, like the other, uh, focuses on the faith of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, that genre, the, the faith films, we see a lot of growth in it. With AD, uh, we see, uh, obviously, lots of other mainstream films that are starting to really take on uh, those uh, more important stories, I think. And it's just, you're, you're certainly, uh, you're leading the way, my friend. Well, I think it's interesting because there, there is an audience for it, and it's not necessarily the faith aspect that is yeah. attracting an audience, it's the story. Exactly. And I think yeah. once filmmakers realize that and focus on the story, then we get like yeah, guys like Henry that say, hey, you know, that, that come and be a part of it. Indeed. Well, give us a little bit of background uh, about the film itself. And then we've got a clip, and then we'll talk a little more about acting in it and uh, the put it, putting, of it, uh, putting it together. Yeah, so Freetown, it's this uh, kind of an action thriller about uh, six Liberian missionaries that are in the middle of their, their service in, in Monrovia, and civil war breaks out. And essentially, their, their lives are, are threatened. They're unable to, to teach or to do what they feel like they should be doing. And so ultimately, they recruit a a local member of the church there to drive them up through Monrovia across rebel checkpoint after checkpoint oh to get to the border to get to Freetown. That's pretty exciting. It's yeah. a high stakes uh, story. Great. All right. Well, we've got a clip from it. Let's take a look at it, and then we'll talk uh, more about uh, the filmmaking process, okay. shall we? All right. Here it is. Freetown. <laughs> Rebels. What are you doing out here? You shouldn't be here. We're just teaching about. I know who you are. Are you trying to get shot? They're not after missionaries. No. They are after crime. Guy? Yes. My name. It shows that I'm a crime. That's exciting. Uh, I think that it's easy for people to forget when we're here in the United States so comfortable yeah. um, that in other countries this is still the mode of operation currently. Yeah. And that uh, is uh, a frightening proposition for someone who is going and trying to serve other people. I imagine that it's frightening for filming too. So talk to me a little bit about the process and uh, a little bit about uh, acting in it and, and where you guys have come from to put this together. Yeah, I mean, it, it was remarkable. We shot the, the whole film in West Africa. We wanted to be uh, as, authentic, as authentic as we could and do justice to the story. Um, 
And you're right. I mean, it, this occurred in 1989, but these these topics and these instances are still occurring and right. still very relevant. There was not a lot of directing that had to be done to say, run from the people with guns. They <laughs> right. they knew that, and it was eye-opening to be there. Wow. So talk to me about the, the your feelings about acting in this film and what it brought to life of your uh, you know your life itself. I'm, I'm sure has, has certainly touched. Uh, you've had you've been touched by these kinds of things of living there. Yeah. Um, personally, I haven't um, experienced the war because Ghana, we've been a bit fortunate concerning issues yeah. of war. But most of our neighbors have, and having to grow up around that era because in '89 I was alive, and yeah. although I was a little kid, the news would talk about the wars everywhere in newspapers and all that. So we we always grew new in. There was war in Liberia, there was war in Sierra Leone, and it really had much impact on us. But all we prayed was it never came to where we were. But having to act in Freetown and, and doing it with people who had actually lived the war was, was a different experience. Because in the clip we just saw, um, the, guy who was being, the guys who were being chased, one of them actually was from Sierra Leone, and he had experienced the war as, 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 as a child. And the other guy who played the rebel, Bill, Bill Myers, who played Ansa, was actually there in Liberia when this thing was happening. So all of them, all of them came on, on set with this, with this emotion, with this thing within them, and, and they, really, they really affected some of us. Because as I said, we had never experienced it, and then we hope never to. But they, they really changed our mindsets concerning just going in and acting as actors would do. We, we took the whole thing from a very different angle, and I believe it, it really helped us achieve what, what we. And hey, we would say, yeah, it happened in 89, and it's not happening anymore. Because now, I, I, recently, I was hashtagging on Instagram. I was like, hey, let the wars not happen anymore. And then we see the stories of Kenya. Right. So it, it's, it's still happening. And if there's exactly. a missionary around that area who is seven, he would have to flee when those people come onto the university campus to, to do what they did. So it's, it's a very pressing issue. We, I thought it was done with, but then it's happening all over so the place. Time, once again. Going yeah. So as an actor, it's, it's very impacting. It's very life changing. Because when I look at the story of the missionaries, how they were able to go through 50 checkpoints originally, it, it, was, it was something else. Your fate takes a quantum leap. Let me put it like that. You know, I, I think we all long for a world where we don't have to show your papers, where we don't have to have children who are scared and frightened by guns and people that are just uh, out, uh, out, out for blood and out for uh, their own uh, benefit. It, I, I don't know, it, it must be inspiring, I think, to, to create something. And as you said, I mean, as recently as just a week ago, we have yeah. things in the news that, that harken back to these days, which are frightening. Uh, you, like I said, it couldn't be more timely. What do you think people will get from this film? Do you, is there, do you think that there's a measure of, of recognizing this as something that we all need to shed from our world? For sure, yeah. Um, the story, um, the, the script is written by Melissa Larson, and she does a phenomenal job of recognizing in the film that, uh, that these dangers do exist. They exist in that time. They exist in this time, and yet, you know, here, here we sit, half a world away, but we have very relevant topics that, that, that we're experiencing. You know, we, they talk about this, um, there's a theme in the film about racism, and, uh, and it covers heavy topics, and <clears throat> she does a good job of recognizing how the faith, whatever, whatever your belief is, um, can offset that and can counterbalance that and can eventually correct that. And so um, that's kind of what the film is about. It's, it's entertaining, but it does, if you want to take a little more out of it, it does provide you that opportunity. Indeed. Now, uh, it, it goes out to wide release tomorrow. Is that right? Tomorrow on, a, well, yeah, on 120 screens across Amazing. the country. And uh, including right here, Holiday Village Cinema. That's right, right below us, uh, right here in Park City. We're proud uh, to, to get a chance to talk to you about this film. I think it's uh, impactful. It's, a, it's certainly exciting. And uh, it does tell an important, uh, an important story. So I want to thank you guys for so very much for being here. I have to ask the next question, obviously, what's next for both of you? What, I know you're always busy. I, I can only imagine you're flying out of here to somewhere tomorrow. It always seems like that. Yeah, yeah. We're going to, to the East Coast tomorrow to do some <laughs> Am I right? I do. <laughs> and tours. And uh, 
you know, this story has been my focus for the past 18 months. So we're going to finish strong, uh, you know, getting it out there for the next several months. But uh, we encourage everybody to see it, uh, see it starting tomorrow. Excellent. So how about for you, Henry? What's uh, what's next for you as an actor? Um, as an actor, you would you would hope to get bigger projects. That's yeah. But um, one thing I did last year before getting on free time will be coming out. But that's basically for Africa. It's going to spread through Africa because it's on one of our biggest channels, African Magic, on Excellent. DSTV. So yeah, but that's that's more light. That because that's drama. It's family. It's there's no war in that one. Indeed. And then yeah, I get to go back home. I get to go back uh, at the end of the month. I get to go back to Italy. So. Yeah, we see, we see what happens. Yeah, you're from Italy, uh, up uh, by Milan, you said, is that yeah, right? Yeah, that's where I live. I'm Ghanaian, but yeah. then I happen to live outside. Wow. I live in Italy, so yeah, it's, it's a great, great spot. There. <laughs> well, certainly a lot of art uh, to be had there, and yeah. uh, certainly you bring a lot of art uh, yourself. Thanks so much for sharing it with us. Thank you, too. I sure appreciate you guys both Thanks being here. Uh, the movie is Freetown. Don't miss it. Uh, it hits uh, over 100 screens tomorrow, including, of course, uh, right here uh, below us at Park City Television. So don't make uh, so make sure you don't miss this uh, film. It's going to be excellent. We'll be back with more right here on the Mountain Morning Show after this.